Hi everyone. I've come on a bit early just to check that we're it's all working. Hi. Um, you've still got ten minutes till we are going to start. So um, I'm going to leave this and then just double check. I'll be back in five to have a little chat. Okay, thanks. Right, checking everything, seems to be working. Who knows? Turn that sound off. Turn that off. Right. Can you hear me, Mark? Can you hear you here? This one. This is when you get to. There's nothing's happened to it since then. Right. Okay. Hi everyone, we've still got eight minutes until I'm going to have a little chat and then we'll start the quiz. So I just thought I'd come on, say hi, get ready. Uh, get your drinks, get your pen and paper, so we're ready to go. And um, remember just a couple of things, which I'll go over again, but if you do want a shout out, then my glamorous assistant is watching in the other room, and he's gonna write them down as many as we can do in the break, so please comment on below, or I don't know, how do the YouTubers do it? Below, somewhere, <laughs> comment, <laughs> and then hopefully we'll see it, and we can write them down and get those over in the break. Um, look, we've already had a little hello from Lee. Hi, Lee. <laughs> nice to see you. So I'm going to just give it five minutes and then I'm going to start. So please just everyone get yourself ready, get the kids ready. Hope everyone's excited. Uh, hopefully I haven't made it too easy or too difficult or too boring. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but it should be fine, hopefully. Ah, yeah, so, we've still just got five minutes, just checking the streams all right in the other room. Is it all good? Did we get a thumbs up? Oh, we've got a delay. There's no thumbs up. Maybe I'll get one in a few minutes. Who knows? So weird. Just talking to myself, as you do. Oh, we've got 21 viewers, very exciting. I thought it might just be my mum and dad. Hi, mum and dad. But no, we've got some, oh no, someone's left. Ah, oh, sad times. <laughs> they just sit me talking. Oh, we got a thumbs up. We're good, we're good. Okay, so, still just five, four minutes, five minutes. And then we're gonna start. So I hope everyone's just getting ready. I won't talk this much the whole way through. I hope. Oh dear, so weird. Anyway, hope you've all had a good week. Um, hope it's not been too stressful with homeschooling. I'm sure it hasn't here. No, not at all stressful. Absolutely fine. Brilliant. <laughs> Love it. Uh, and hopefully the weather will be nicer for next week. I need to top up the old quarantine tan going on. Oh look, we've got a few highs. People saying hi, we're here, we're ready to go. 
We've got 26 views so far. I'm going to wait till we're up a little bit higher so that before we start, so everyone's ready. We've got quite a few teachers who are joining in, so I'm going to give them a little name check in a bit. And sorry, I keep not looking at you. I keep looking at all the different things that I'm supposed to be doing. Oh dear. Yeah, this is very odd, not being able to see anyone. So I'm going to say this as well in a bit, which is uh, don't put your answers in the comments. Don't give them away. You want to keep all those points if you know the answers. Don't let anyone else know. Oh, we've got a hello from Mrs. Sherlock. And Mr. Sherlock, hi. Nice to see you guys playing along. So we've got a few people. We're up to 26 now. 26 people. 26 views. Let's see how we go. Still four more minutes of me nattering away. <clears throat> ah, dear. I've had a few technical issues this morning, but it seems like it's all right now. Unfortunately, our IT department is useless, i.e. me, so uh, not great. But, uh, oh, hello, peeking in. Hi. Okay, we're up to 35 now. We're just giving it a couple more minutes before we're going to start, just so that we've got everybody. Oh, look, we've got loads of people on here saying hi. This is Naila saying hi. Victoria, hi. Glenn, hi, Glenn. Miss Sussman, Kelly. <coughs> oh, hi to the Hutchin family. Dan, Becky, Jake, Stan, hi. Nice to see you all. It's nice to have a chat. That's it. Say hello to each other. We like it, it's good. Catch up. <laughs> Let's see how, how we're getting on. Up to 37. Just a couple more minutes and then we'll, we'll get started. Get the quiz going. Oh, hi, Hollis is there. Hi, Hollis. And James's family. Hi, James's family. You're all ready. Okay, we'll just give everyone else a couple more minutes because I know we did say eight o'clock. So just two more and then we'll, we'll get started. And uh, hopefully it'll all go well. <laughs> I'm doubling up. Oh. Is that okay? We've got our technical thing in the background. Going on, checking what's happening. Hi Zoe, nice to see you. Oh, thank you very much Mrs. Sherlock, very glam. I thought I'd wash my hair for the occasion. Not done it in 10 weeks, thought I'd Treat yourself. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Watkin and family. Nice to see you. Well, not see you. Nice to see you about. Right. Okay, so I'll start, I'll start with a spiel anyway, and then we'll see how we go. <clears throat> so first of all, I just wanted to say welcome, everyone. This is just such a different thing that we've never tried before. And obviously, we've locked down. We've not been able to do our usual PTA things. And we still really want to raise money for our brilliant school. So we're so grateful to all of you who have turned up and donated so far. We're so overwhelmed. It's been absolutely amazing. If I have a look now, we're on £315 already before we even started. We've hit 63% of our target, which is just amazing we can't believe it so thank you so much to everyone that's donated um it, so if you want to if anyone does still want to donate then the link is below she says i don't know like the professional youtuber that i am um as i said before i had a few technical issues this morning but hopefully it's all sorted out now but if anything goes wrong just stay there and then hopefully I'll be back. Fingers crossed. I'll just turn it off and turn it back on again and hopefully, but we should be fine. Fingers crossed. Um, so before we start, 
I know everyone, all the children and the parents would love to say a massive thank you to all of our teachers and staff. Um, our wonderful head, Mrs Sherlock, you're doing such an amazing job with all of the children, the key children you've had in. I know you've been working through holidays, you've been just working non-stop with everybody to keep things as normal for them as possible and we're all just so grateful to have such a wonderful school. Um, so we were going to say to some of the staff, to say a quick hello to some that we know are playing along. So I'll say that now. We've got... And sorry if I miss anyone, this is just the people who said they definitely were. So if anyone else is, please say a little hello and um, I'll make sure I do it in the in the break. So we should have Mr Trower, Mr Watkin, Mrs Whittam, Miss Sussman, Mr Pawson, Mrs Walker, Mr Owen, Mrs Sutcliffe, Miss Lloyd, Mr Button, Miss May, Mrs Naylor and of course Mrs Sherlock. So thank you guys for joining in with us and I'm sure the kids would really love to know what you score at the end and so if you could put it once we got the final scores, if you're not too embarrassed by your terrible scores, then if you could put it in and then the kids can kind of compare how they've done and the families and, uh, and see how we get on, see if I managed to stump you of any questions. So, um, also, <clears throat> yeah, no, no pressure with the teachers, but you do realise that if you don't beat the children, then you're really going to be in for it when they come back. It's, you're never going to live it down, so no pressure or anything, just, you know, do your best. A um, few final bits of housekeeping. Please keep doing as you're doing, which is commenting. That's brilliant. Chat to each other. Um, and if you do want any shout outs, if you've got any birthdays, do it. My glamorous assistant in the other room is going to write it down for me. Bring it in and I'm going to try and do it in the break. I'll do as many as I can. I've already got quite a few. Um, the other thing is, as I said before, everyone, if you want to put your final scores in at the back, that would be brilliant at the end once it's all added up and you can kind of compare with your friends, compare with the teachers, compare with your family. Um, but just to say, don't type your score, don't type the answers in as we go through because um, then you're just giving away your points. Don't do it. Also, no cheating, no Googling. This is just for fun. You're only cheating yourselves, as my mum would say, so... Don't do it. And I'm uh, talking to the teachers here, especially. No cheating. I know you want to win, but it's not the way to do it. Okay. So I think that that is basically it. And if we are ready, we are going to start the, the quiz. So I reckon if we want to do a little, anyone who's ready, just do a little, I'm ready, I'm ready. And then I'm going to, I'm going to start with the questions. I'm going to make myself small now. So you don't have to see my face, massive face the whole time. Just some of the time. Okay. So it looks like, I'm just checking here. Yeah, we've got quite a few people, so we're going to give it a go and we're going to make a start now. So the first round, round one is animated TV shows. So please bear in mind, I've done the questions so that they're some for the adults, some for the kids. We wanted it so that the kids could join in and would know some of the answers. So let's uh, let's see how we go. Lots of readies. Okay, perfect. Number one, what do the Teletubbies like to eat? Is it A, toast and custard? Is it B, milk and cookies? Is it C, bacon and eggs? Is it D, bangers and mash? So I'm going to ask that again. Question one, what do the Teletubbies like to eat? Is it A, toast and custard? Is it B, milk and cookies? Is it C, bacon and eggs? Is it D, bangers and mash? Give you a second there to discuss your answers. Right, question two. What job does Chase have on Paw Patrol? Ooh, that's a tough one. Luckily, I don't have to watch Paw Patrol anymore. That part of my life is over. I do not miss it. Number two, repeated. What job does Chase have on Paw Patrol? Thank you. 
Okay, next question. In the Flintstones, what is Fred Flintstone's best friend called? And again, in the Flintstones, what is Fred Flintstone's best friend called? Give you a little minute for that. Okay, and next. Which crime fighter had wings that were a shield of steel? I'm expecting some of the older ones to know this one, maybe not the little ones. Question four again. Which crime fighter had wings that were a shield of steel? Okay, question five. Which hero had the power of Grayskull? I'm trying not to do the voice when I say it. I used to love that when I was a kid. And I'll say it again, number five. Which hero had the power of Grayskull? Number six, who is the only human to have been characterised in Peppa Pig who took great delight in jumping in muddy puddles? <clears throat> and again, who is the only human to have been characterised in Peppa Pig and who took great delight in jumping in muddy puddles? Oh, move me so you can see it. <laughs> Okay, next one. Oh, wrong way. In Sesame Street, what colour is Big Bird? And again, in Sesame Street, what colour is Big Bird? What a show that was. <laughs> okay, I hope I'm not going too fast for everyone. If it's a good sort of speed, it's hard to judge it, but you can comment after this one if it's too quick. Right. Number eight. What is the name of Bugs Bunny's girlfriend? Is it A, Tweety, B, Melissa Bunny, C, Miss Prissy, or D, Lola? And again, what is the name of Bugs Bunny's girlfriend? Is it A, Tweety, B, Melissa Bunny, C, Miss Prissy, or D, Lola? I like all the competitive comments, it's good. Keep at it. Number nine, Eugene H. Krabs and Squidward tentacles are characters in Whose Adventures? And I say it again. Eugene H. Krabs and Squidward tentacles are characters in Whose Adventures? And the final one for this round is number 10. Gaston the ladybird is friends with which fairy tale dynamic duo? Gaston the ladybird is friends with which fairy tale dynamic duo? And that wraps up round one. So I'm just going to give you a little minute to try and go through any that you're not sure of, have a little chat, and then I'm going to move on to our next round, which is a movie round. Okay, right, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. I'm just having a little look what everyone's saying. Okay, right, I'm going to go, I'm doing it. 
our movie round. <clears throat> Number one. So these should be, I've gone with kids' movies again. I didn't didn't want to do anything that was a, a bit too uh, a bit inappropriate for the kids in a kids' quiz. So, in the Disney movie Zootopia, what type of animal is the character Flash Flash 100 Yard Dash? In the Disney movie Zootopia, what type of animal is the character Flash Flash 100 Yard Dash? It's a good movie, good movie that. Looks like Mr. Chow is struggling. Oh dear, Mr. Chow, you need to brush up on your cartoon knowledge. Right, number two. And for this, I've got my Harry Potter, my uh, <laughs> my Harry Potter expert is going to come in and help me because I, I fear that my spell um, knowledge is not up to scratch. <laughs> so, Cho Pai, if you could read this one for me. Question two. In Harry Potter, what is the spell that Hermione and the other students use to raise their feathers. A. Expecto Patronum. B. Axio. C. Wingardium Leviosa. Or D. Expelliarmus. Expertly done. Go on, one more go. In Harry Potter, what is the spell that Hermione and the other students use to raise their feathers? A. Expecto Patronum. B. Axio. C. Wingardium Leviosa. Or D. Expelliarmus. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks, Cherry Pie. You might have to come and help me with the other one because I think my other child doesn't want to play. <laughs> he's got he's got the raging hump and he's not interested. <laughs> uh, right, number three. Which movie is this still from? Two, uh, two lovely faces there, I'm sure you might recognise, but which movie is this still from? <laughs> I know, it's still making me laugh. <laughs> okay, next. Number four. In The Wizard of Oz, what did Dorothy use to melt the Wicked Witch of the West? And again, number four, in The Wizard of Oz, what did Dorothy use to melt the Wicked Witch of the West? I melted. Right, my little acting part there for you. Number four, f number five. In which 1980s film were the main characters searching for one-eyed Willie's gold? This is a bit of a hard one. You've got to try and think back here, parents and uh, grown-ups. Number five, in what 1980s film were the main characters searching for one-eyed Willie's gold? Okay, let's go for the next one. We've got another movie still here. From which movie is this still from? Chair is cracking up at this one. <laughs> I know they agreed to let me use their faces, but I don't think they realised quite what I was going to do with them. Sorry, guys. Uh, from which movie is this still from? Okay, next. In the 2017 movie Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, which famous wrestler plays Dr. Bravestone? Dr. Smolder Bravestone, in fact. Number seven. In the 2017 movie Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, which famous wrestler plays Dr. Smolder Bravestone? Okay, I've got another helper here. Question eight. Joe, are you gonna come in and <laughs> Oh yeah, we've spared absolutely no no uh, expense here with the props, as you can see. Go on, Joe. <laughs> you gonna read it? Eight. In the Marvel Universe, what is Captain America's real name? 
In Marvel Universe, what is Captain America's real name? Very good, Topai. Thank you. You can take that if you like. Okay. I'm going to take it with you. Oh, yeah, spent a lot of time on those props. Okay. Number nine. From which film did Spider Pig become the shortest song to reach the UK top 40? So we're looking for the film. From which film did the song Spider Pig become the shortest song to reach the UK top 40? And number 10, which is the last one of this round. Which movie is this still from? Yeah, I'm sorry, Mrs. Sherlock. <laughs> not quite as good as the Mary Poppins one it's a lot harder <laughs> anyway which movie is this still from okay so hopefully I haven't been going too quickly what we're going to do now is give you a chance, um, a little break, go to the toilet, get a drink, and we'll be back in five minutes, and that's when we're just going to do a couple of birthday shout-outs, a couple of other shout-outs. So now's the time if you want to get any more shout-outs in um, to anybody. And um, I just want to say hi, anything at all, and check your answers with each other. And then I'm going to go through the answers of the first two rounds. So you'll have your first mark out of 20 and then we'll move on to the next two rounds okay thanks guys i'll see you in five exit stage right left
Right, I know it hasn't quite been five minutes. I'm just coming on to put the link back on for the Just Giving. So I know a few people have asked. So just give me one sec, I just have to get it up. I'm just gonna share the link with you all. Ignore that. Okay, let's put this on here. So this is the link here. If you just go click onto that, then that is where the Just Given page is. Uh, don't feel like you have to. It is completely voluntary. It's lovely just to have you all here do a nice fun community event. But obviously any funding we can make, oh, favourite noise, uh, any funding we can make would be amazing. And obviously it's all just going to go straight into the school for you know, whatever they might need with the kids going back. I'm sure Mrs. Sherlock and all of the staff have got lots of brilliant ideas for things they could spend it on just to make it, you know, as nice as possible for them all coming back. Oh, thanks. Thought I deserved a, a little drink after getting through the first half without too many technical hitches. So cheers, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in. I was worried it was just going to be me talking to myself, so it's really lovely that we've got so many people uh, who want to come and, and join in and, and raise money for the school and just have a nice time. So I'm just going to let you finish off for another couple of minutes. I'm just going to grab the rest of the shout outs and the birthdays and I'm going to do that next. Okay, one second. I've got a helper who's here um, because mummy doesn't know the YouTube lingo apparently. Max has corrected me. How do we know where the link is? What do we say? It's called link in the description. The link's in the description. Come on, mummy, what are you thinking <laughs> of? There we go, my future YouTube star with his super cool mohawk there. You want to say hi? Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm going to get the shout outs now. Ready? So, are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. <laughs> Right, I'm going to start with the birthdays. We've tried to get everybody that we can and I'm really hoping we haven't missed anyone out. And if we have and you're desperate, please put it back in and my husband's still going to be looking. So if it's you need, if you put it on and it, I, we haven't seen it, please just say. So to start with, we'd like to say a big happy birthday to David, who is Letty's dad and it's his birthday today. How exciting. Happy birthday, David. Hope you're having a fun day. Uh, we've got Caitlin, whose birthday is on the 10th of June. I'm not sure which class she's in. We didn't get that through, but I'm sure she'll know. 10th of June. Happy birthday, Caitlin. We've got Layla, whose birthday is then on the 11th of June, and she is going to be 11. Big 11, and she's in 6SG. So happy birthday, Layla. Hope you're having an amazing day from all of us. Uh, we've got Archie, who is in Mr Trower's class, and he's going to be 6 next Sunday on the 14th of June. 
Um, so happy birthday, Archie. Hope you have a great day. We have got my little niece, Frankie Fru, who was six on Wednesday. Happy birthday, Frankie. We love you lots, you little ledge. Um, we've got Mrs. Morgan, Sharon Morgan. It doesn't say here when her birthday is. I don't know if it's today, but a big happy birthday from Mrs. Sherlock and from all of us. We hope you have a great day. And we have got Grace Chatfield, who it's her sixth birthday on the 12th of June. So happy birthday, Grace. We hope you have an absolutely amazing day. And you all um, enjoy yourself as much as you can, even in lockdown. Eat loads of cake and pizza and go to bed late and do lots of fun things. But don't say I said that. Okay, now we're just going to do some actual shout outs. So shout out to Sasha in 5RW and Lydia in 3LS. Hi guys. Mum said hi. Uh, we've got Darcy, Frankie and Charlie. Hi. That's Tompkins and well done Darcy on Star of the Week. Great job. Um, a big hello to Oscar and Rosa. And Rosa would especially like a special shout out to the teachers who have looked after her during lockdown in a key worker place. And especially Mrs. Sherlock, Miss Perkins, Miss Blythman and Miss Bradley. And she says they've all been amazing. So thanks, guys. Um, we're going to say hello. In 5RW, we've got a few, few of the boys who wanted a shout out. And that's Josh, Jack R, Ewan and Jack P. So they're all in 5RW. And then we've got Leo in 2SJ. So hi, guys. Hope you're enjoying the quiz. Um, Cherry would like to say hello. And she's totally abusing her power here, having me. But I suppose you have to make up for having a really embarrassing mum in some ways. There must be some sort of payoff. So she would like to say hello to her friends, Harlow, Miller, Lily L, Marlo and Lily Rose. So hi, guys. And in that note, Harlow has said on there she wants to say hi to Mr Watkin. And of course, Cherry wants to say hi to Mr Watkin. Um, and Josh says hi to Mr Watkins. So Mr Watkins getting a lot of shout outs here from the guys. And I also just want to be an embarrassing mum and say hi to Max who's watching in the other room and well done for getting Star of the Week. Woo -woo. So, so far that is all of, right I'm just having a look. That's all the shout outs we've had so far. If you do want any more, we'll probably have time at the end just to do a couple more. Oh look, I missed the slide. There we go, <laughs> shout outs, too late. Anyway, we'll have time at the end if anyone else wanted to do a couple. Oh, I can see here, Julia said it's today. It's Sharon's birthday today. So happy birthday, Sharon. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you're getting to relax a little bit and uh, and enjoying yourself. Okay, so now if we're ready, we're going to go through the answers for the first round. So you can mark your own as long as you can be trusted. Maybe use a different pen, green, green pen, and then we know. And then at the end of this, you can put your scores on and see how you're getting on. Right. Time for the answers. So, question one, what do the Teletubbies like to eat? It is A, toast and custard. A, toast and custard. Right. Question number two, what job does Chase have on Paw Patrol? He is a police dog. Or just police, and then he's a dog. I don't, I'm not really sure how that works. Either way, he works for the police. Okay, question three. In the Flintstones, what is Fred Flintstone's best friend called? He is, of course, Barney Rubble. Number four. I used to love this show. Which crime fighter had wings of steel? It was Batfink. That was a good one. Okay. Number five. Who? Which hero had the power of Grayskull? It was, of course, He-Man. By the power of Grayskull. There you go. There's my impression. You can have that. So it's He-Man. Number six. Who is the only character to have been characterised in Peppa Pig and who took great delight in jumping in muddy puddles? It was the Queen. So the Queen is the answer. Okay. In Sesame Street, what colour is Big Bird? Of course, Big Bird is yellow. Number eight. What is the name of Bugs Bunny's girlfriend? It is D. Lola. I learnt that this week. I didn't know it. Now I do. 
So there we go. Number nine, Eugene H. Krabs and Squidward Tentacles are characters in whose adventures it is SpongeBob SquarePants. Answer is SpongeBob SquarePants. And the last one of that round, Gaston the Ladybird is friends with which fairy tale dynamic duo? It is Ben and Holly. Ben and Holly. So I hope you did well in that one. Let's see how you're getting on. And we're going to move on to the answers of the movie round. Hopefully I'm not going too quickly. It's quite quick to mark, isn't it? Right, so question, the answer to number one. In the Disney movie Zootopia, what type of animal is the character Flash Flash 100 Yard Dash? He is a sloth. Flash Flash 100 Yard Dash. Oh, wait, quick, I need my... Run, Cherry, run. She's coming to tell us the answer. In Harry Potter, what is the spell that Hermione and the other students use to raise their feathers? It is, of course, come on, Cherry, mm -hmm. give it your best. Wingardium Leviosa. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and that, is that it? You're going again? Yeah. Is Max coming to do the other one? Yeah, he's coming, right. Which movie was that still from with Mr. Trower and Mr. Owen? It was, of course, Home Alone. Not that those two would be doing anything like that, of course. So, it's Home Alone. New career, perhaps. In The Wizard of Oz, what did Dorothy use to defeat the Wicked Witch of the West? It was a bucket of water, or just water, you can say. She melted her. Number five. In what film were the main characters searching, searching for One-Eyed Willie's gold? It was The Goonies. What a classic. That is, I have to get that on again. The answer is The Goonies. Okay. The next one was, which movie is this still from? And it was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So I'm afraid you only get half a point if you said Harry Potter. It has got to be specific to the Goblet of Fire if you want the full point. Though to be fair, I didn't have a clue and Cherry had to tell me, but that's pretty much every area of my life, so it's fine. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Oh, let's, go, let's move it down a bit. Number seven. In the 2017 movie Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, which famous wrestler plays Dr. Bravestone? And it was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. What a guy. Okay, next. Number eight. Are you going to come give the answer? In the Marvel Universe, what is Captain America's real name? Oh, there we go. What's his real name? Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers. It is indeed. Hope you all got that yes. at home. Thanks. Just bump. You go. No, stay. Okay. Likes the limelight. Right. Come on, mate. <laughs> Number nine. From which film did the song Spider Pig become the shortest song to reach the UK Top 40? It was The Simpsons Movie. Okay, and number 10, which movie is this still from? It is Frozen 2. Oh, you're not getting the point just for Frozen. It's got to be Frozen 2. Okay, so now you should have scores out of 20 if you want to put them on. And then we've got the next round, which is Welcome Back to School. So these are all questions of things that the children have probably learnt at school. And to be honest, I struggled with a lot of them. But let's see how you get on. I reckon the kids will know it and they're probably going to show, show all you uh, grown-ups up. So let's see how they get you all get on with it. Okay, if we're ready. Oh, look, see the scores are coming up. Right, I'm going to start with question one. Oh, I need the kids again. Cherry, Max, quick. Okay, so some of you might have been doing this this week. Which famous Dutch artist painted Starry Night and Sunflowers? And just for a little bit of help here, because I wasn't allowed to actually put it on the slide, we've got here some we did earlier. You want to hold them up? Okay. Which famous Dutch artist painted Starry Night and Sunflowers? It looks kind of like that. There we go. Very nice. Come on, man. Okay. Number two, and we have a special guest uh, 
quizmaster here, Mr Watkin, who is going to read our next question for us. So over to you, Mr Watkin. Hello everyone, Mr Watkin here. I hope you're enjoying the quiz. My question is, what was the name of Henry VIII's sixth wife? I'll just say it one more time. What was the name of Henry VIII's sixth wife? Thanks, Mr. Watkin. Great work. Okay, I'll give you a second to think about it. I know what everyone's doing now. See if that helps. Right. Okay. Going to move on to the next question. Now, this is a maths question. Let me just move myself out of the way. You need to work this out. So, the amount of players in a football team, and by that I mean players in one team who are on the pitch at one time, plus the amount of sides an equilateral triangle has, take away the amount of legs a spider has. So, I'll say that again. The amount of players in one football team, how many would be on the pitch of that one team, plus the amount of sides an equilateral triangle has, Minus the amount of legs a spider has. What is the answer? Get the maths, maths brain going. I'm going to give you a little bit longer for this one. Right. Okay, I'm going to move on, but I can always come back to it if you need me to. Number four, English. So, in our house, I don't know if it's the same for you, but we all love this book, Roldar the Twits, one of our favourites. But what disgusting thing did Mrs Twit put in Mr Twit's spaghetti? Again, what disgusting thing did Mrs Twit put in Mr Twit's spaghetti? I don't blame her. I'd do the same. Okay. Going to go next. For food tech, what is the main herb in pesto? I'm sure you've all eaten it. We all like it. But what is the main herb that makes pesto? Okay, I'm going to move on to the next one. RE. What is the name of the day before Lent that we celebrate by making a certain type of food? So, what is the name of the day before Lent that we celebrate by making a certain type of food? Okay, Can go on to the next one. Science. How many stars are in our solar system? Say so again, how many stars are in our solar system? You haven't got time to go out and count them. Okay, going to move on. Number eight, and this is forest school. So, what is the name of the tree that le that these leaves grow on? What tree would you find these leaves on? What's the name of it? And Let you think about that for a second. Number nine. I'm not going to sing it because I don't want to ruin your evening. I'm just going to say it. What is the next line to this well-known assembly banger? Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. What is the next line to this song? So 
So one more. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Okay, number 10. Now, everyone should get this right after this week. How many continents are there? And you get a bonus point in this round if you can name all of them. So I'm going to give you a little minute for this one. How many continents are there for one point? And for your bonus point, can you name them all? I'll give you a second because that takes a minute. Okay, right, I reckon that should be enough time. Hopefully enough time. So we're gonna move on to our fourth and final round, which is sports and leisure. And then I'm gonna go through the answers to the next one. Okay, number one. I'm sure we must have some Seagulls fans on here. So where did Brighton and Hove Albion come in the table at the end of the Premier League last season? That is the 2018-2019 season that we just had. Where did Brighton and Hove Albion come in the table at the end of the Premier League last season? 2018-2019. Okay, number two. Which video game did the dance, The Floss, feature in? Now I could do it, but I fear Cherry would never speak to me again, so I'm just gonna stay here and not do that. Which video game did the dance, The Floss, feature in? Okay. Now we have another guest um, quiz master and it is Mr. Trower, ready to do his question. Hand over to Mr. Trower. Right, got a very important question for you about a very important sport. Out of England and Australia, who has won the most Ashes series? So out of England and Australia, who or which team has won the most Ashes series? Thanks, Mr. Trower. Very nice. Very nice cricket gear. <laughs> Don't know the name for it. So there we go. Question number three, and we'll move on to number four. How many suspects are there in the board game of Cluedo? Again, how many suspects are there in the board game of Cluedo? And next, number five. What sport do the Harlem Globetrotters play? Number five. What sport do the Harlem Globetrotters play? Right, move along. Number six, now this is a bit of a tough one, you've got to really think about this one. Name a sporting event in which the winning team only move backwards. There are two that you can choose from, two sporting events. So name a sporting team event in which the winning team only move backwards. Give you a minute to have a think about it. Let's have a bit bigger again. Okay, number seven. Who has won more Grand Slam titles? Is it Serena Williams or Roger Federer? So number seven, who has won more Grand Slam titles? Serena, Serena Williams or Roger Federer? Okay. 
Okay, number eight. Can you name the five colours of the Olympic rings? If you get three, you can have half a point because I'm feeling generous, but you can get one point for all five. Name the five colours of the Olympic rings. Give you a second to write all those down. Mm -mm. Okay, number nine. What is it called when you get three consecutive strikes in a row in bowling? Wouldn't know, never done it. A, a strike, B, a spare, C, a turkey, D, a double. So that is, what is it called when you get three consecutive strikes in a row in bowling? A, a strike, B, a spare, C, a turkey, D, a double. And number 10, which of these games is the highest grossing video arcade game of all time? Is it A, Mortal Kombat, B, Pac-Man, or C, Space Invaders? So, number 10, which of these games is the highest grossing video arcade game of all time? A, Mortal Kombat, B, Pac-Man, C, Space Invaders, oh no, that's it, or C, Space Invaders. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to, this is your final break, it won't even be five minutes, I'm just going to double check. If there are any questions that you have missed and you want me to say again, if you want to quickly put it in the comments now, then I can say it when I come back before I do the answers. Also, same for any final shout outs that I may have missed, um, if you want to do that. And then when I come back, I'll be going through the final answers. Okay, thanks guys, see you in a minute.
Right, it doesn't seem like there's any more questions that I can see. There's just a couple more shout outs. Um, I was meant to do this one earlier. <laughs> These ones. So, can I do a big shout out to Thomas and Amy, my niece and nephew from Paul and Stacey, and also from me. Hi guys, glad they let you stay up. And can I also do one to my other niece, Violet? Hi Violet, love you. And uh, Alex would like to thank Miss P and Miss B for all the help that they've um, given him during this time. Would like a sh another shout out for Felix and Oscar. Hi Felix and Oscar, you're all right. I hope you're doing well, enjoying the quiz. And we've got a shout out for some of the year four mums who are doing the quiz together. We've got Marie, Vicky and Amy. Hi ladies, hope you're enjoying yourself, having a nice time. Um, also, Harlow shouted her own birthday out, so I like that. It's nice, sassy, good. 7th of July. She's planning it already. Good one, Harlow. Happy birthday. Right, so I am going to now move on to the answers. Okay, so I'm going to get my little helpers in again here. Which famous Dutch artist painted Starry Night and Sunflowers? Who was it, guys? Vincent. 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 Yeah. Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh. Yeah. However you want to say it. Oh, cool. Italian. No, he's Dutch. Is he? From Dutch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Homeschooling is going well. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. Well done. Great help. Go on then. Hop it. All right, you stay here. And now we go back to Mr. Watkin, who is going to give us the answer to... No, shh. Quiet that. So people can hear Mr. Watkin. The answer for question number two. The answer Oops, sorry. is Catherine Parr was Henry VIII's sixth wife. So well done if you got that right. Okay, so if you get that, the answer was Catherine Parr was Henry VIII's sixth wife. Thank you, Mr. Watkin. That's great. And the answer we've got for number three, the amount of players in a football team is, of course, 11. Plus the amount of sides an equilateral triangle has, which is three, minus the amount of legs a spider has, which is eight, and the answer is six. She says, yeah. <laughs> I started to have a panic now that I've done it wrong. Anyway, I'll double check that. English. What did Mrs. Twit put in Mr. Twit's spaghetti? And worms! The answer is worms. Ugh, worm spaghetti. Disgusting. It said in the book, book that she carried them in a tin and then went back then. That then because then covered the spaghetti in tomato ketchup so you couldn't see the worms. Oh, disgusting. Number five. The question is, what is the main herb in pesto? And it is, of course, basil. 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 Okay, number six. What is the name of the day before Lent starts? It is Shrove Tuesday or Pancake, pancake day. day. You can have either. We love a bit of Pancake Day in this house. Always goes down well. Number seven for science. How many stars are in our solar system? The answer is just one. The sun. The sun. They think that so far there is only one sun, one star in our solar system is the sun. Number eight for forest school, what is the name of the tree that these leaves grow on? It is an oak tree. But it says oak trees, sir. Yeah, or oak trees, sir. <laughs> the next line to this well-known song, do you want to sing it? Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. And the next line. You just have to have sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna. Do you know it? Can you sing it? No. Nah. No. Sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. It's a good one, that. That is a good one. Hope you're all singing along at home. And for number 10, geography, how many continents are there? There are seven continents. And for a bonus point, can you name them? Europe, Asia, Australia, Africa, Antarctica, South America and North America. Nice. <laughs> Boom. One point for you. That is all the answers to the back to school round. Let's see how you've done out of ten on that one. And we're going to go on to the next one. Where did Brighton and Hove Albion come in the table at the end of the Premier League last season? 
And the answer to that is 17th. Are we going to do better this season? Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. See you goals. That's what we say. Right, number two. Oh, this has done a runner over here for some reason. Which video game did the dance The Floss feature in? It was, of course, Fortnite. Number three, we've got the answer here from Mr. Trower. And now for the answer. So the question that I asked you was out of which team, England or Australia, who has won the most Ashes series? And it saddens me to say, as a staunch England supporter, that the answer is Australia. Thanks there, Mr. Trower. That's great. So it is Australia. Um, so the question was, how many suspects are there in the board game of Cluedo? And there is six. They are Professor Plum, Mrs. White, Reverend Green, Miss Peacock, Miss Scarlet and Colonel Mustard. Didn't need that. That's just a bit of extra bonus information for you there. But you get a point just for writing six. Number five. What sport do the Harlem Globetrotters play? It's obviously basketball. Number six. This one was a bit more tricky. Name a sporting team event in which the winning team only moved backwards. You could have had rowing or tug of war. Either of those for the point. Number seven. Who has won more Grand Slam titles, Serena Williams or Roger Federer? And the answer is Serena Williams. Who won the world? Gus, Gus. Is that? No. Number eight. Name the five colours of the Olympic rings. And they are blue, black, red, yellow and green. <laughs> so, <laughs> as I said, if you get three of those right, then... You can have half a point, but you need all five of those. Blue, black, red, yellow, and green. Okay, number nine. What is it called when you get three consecutive strikes in a row in bowling? It is C, a turkey. But why a turkey? Is it an animal? It is an animal, yeah. And a place. And a place, yeah. And three consecutive strikes in a row in bowling. And number 10, which of these games is the highest grossing video arcade game of all time? And the answer is B, Pac-Man. Okay, and that is it. Game over. Thank you all for playing. I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> it's it. It's funny because in Pac-Man you can get a game over. I know, yeah. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed yourself and I hope the kids have all enjoyed it. And... Um, Basically, I'd let you know now, let me go over here a bit, um, where we've got to at the moment on our Just Giving page, just refreshing it. So we're up to £445, so we're 89% of our target, which is just absolutely amazing. So thank you everyone who's donated, it's absolutely amazing that you've done it and the money will really go you know, to all the things that will help enrich the lives of our children at the school. And the school is already doing such an amazing job. And it's really lovely that you all want to be part of it and you help the community. And if you haven't donated yet and you still want to, it's going to be open for a couple of days. Be cheeky. Ask your parents. Get the grandparents to donate. That's what I've done. Thanks, Mum and Dad. Thanks, Grandma. Get in there. And, uh, you know, let's just spread it out a bit. Oh. Thank you, not very helpful. See, uh, I'm doing my heartfelt bit here. Stop doing that. So, uh, you know, just see if we can get it up to the if we can get it up to the five hundred pound, that would be absolutely amazing, and we can see what what great stuff we can do with it. Um, before I go, we just wanted to say again. Thanks to all of our amazing teachers, amazing staff. Thank you for giving up your Friday night to come and quiz with us and play along. And I know it's really made it extra fun for the children to join in and play against you all. And we're so lucky to have such a wonderful community in our school. And mm -hmm. Mrs. Sherlock always says it's more like a family than a school. And I really do think that that's true. And I'm so... I'm grateful for you all for turning up and playing and commenting. It's absolutely amazing. Um, if you want to do any selfies of you guys playing your quiz, um, 
then please feel free and put them on our Facebook page on the comment. We'd love to see you all. Um, you know, feel free to share the Just Giving page if you want to. And thanks again to our amazing teachers and to Mrs. Sherlock for everything that you're doing. For all the guys, you know, we really do appreciate it all. Doesn't go unnoticed, mm -hmm. all of your amazing hard work. And I do believe then that is it. So. Oh, I've got the scores coming in. Oh, that, look at this. There's some absolutely amazing scores here. And what this tells me is I need to make it harder next time because you're all obviously far too brainy. So that's it. The next one's going to be brutal. Just you wait. Um, yeah, some absolutely amazing. 11 out of 11s for some of these scores that I'm getting in. So basically, um, what I'm going to do is if you keep just sending your scores in, um, it's a little bit behind on my computer with where how they're coming in, so I'll put it on the Facebook page. Once this ends, I'll, I'll do maybe a top 10 of your final score, if you put your final score in. Unfortunately, there are no prizes. It's just um, the joy of knowing that you did well. So, But I will still put them on, and uh, so keep sending your scores in. And I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your evening and your weekend. And thank you from the PTA. We really do appreciate everything you're doing and all the donations is absolutely amazing. And that's it. That's it from us. I think. Ooga booga, ooga yeah, booga. Indeed. Let's say bye. bye. Gonna do a dab. Bye. bye. No, that's bye. not how it works. Move the camera's Maxine. up there. Maxine, the camera's bye. up there. Maxine. 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 Thank you very Maxine. much. How bye. do you do? I think that's everything. How do you go? Maxine. Silly sausage. <laughs> bye. Silly sausage. Let me do something. Silly sausage. <laughs> No, stop now. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, move. Silly sausage.